Guys, Chef R with the Rad Kitchen. Guys, we're gonna make a really easy dish in super summary. A little olive oil. I like to use fennel. And give it a little roast. I totally learned that from Chef Alex. Which I'm gonna tag so you guys can follow her because it's amazing. I put a little bit of uh, uh, fennel there, let it roast a little bit. A little shallots and the garlic I like to put last because I don't like too garlic flavor. Give it a few tosses, let it nice, get a nice flavor. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper and I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. We're gonna sweat this out just for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna make my tomato salad by taking nice little delicious cherry tomatoes, different colors, I'm gonna make a small little salad. They're gonna go on top of those on the quinoa and the fennel. Um, using the freshest of the fresh, of course, from the farmer's market. Now, check it out. I think we'll very comfortable handle to do this. And this is perfect because I'm not mushing anything. Everything staying nice and crunchy. So I give it a little bit of color here. At this point, I'm gonna add the quinoa. And what we're trying to do is a little bit of a toasty action. I want to get those flavors in there. So we're going to give it a few tosses. We're also going to put a little bit of lemon zest. Go to go right in there. I like lemon zest to give that good citrusy flavor, but without the acidity of actually the lemon juice. Delicious. Put it right in there. And again, with the wrap pan, it makes it a bit easy. Every time you need to mix, you just give it a few flips like that. I get a tiny bit of color over here. In the meantime, I'm gonna use this bowl for my tomato salad. I'm gonna get a few more, so get a really good ones. We're gonna add just a little bit of basil to this salad, olive oil, and salt and pepper. That will be beautiful right on the top. Try to not to mush those tomatoes. You gotta really pick them nicely. Say a little bit of crunch. Texture is absolutely everything. All right, a few more tomatoes. This gets a few more tosses, just to make sure that it's evenly coated with those delicious flavors of the fennel. I love fennel. Fennel is great by itself, but when you roast it, it releases a little sweetness, and that's really, really good. So this quinoa getting a little toasty, you can hear it. All right, so now this is completely ready. Salt and pepper, we're gonna dress this out. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this quinoa going right into the plate. Strain that right in the middle. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, salt, basil. Give that a few mixes so it's nice, coated with lemon juice, eh, excuse me, with olive oil. And uh, I do wanna hit this with a little bit of lemon because we put a little lemon zest in the quinoa. It's gonna be awesome. A little bit of lemon juice right here. And now a few more tosses. I'm gonna put this right on top of the quinoa. I love lots of basil. I love the summer flavors. It's so delicious. And again, we use the rat pan to get a nice little toasty feeling. Boom. Put a little bit more. Tomatoes. I like to hit it up with a little bit of black pepper. And guys, Beautiful summery dish. Enjoy. Super delicious. Very fresh. The, the quinoa makes the tomatoes a little warm, which gives them this nice texture. And the flavors are incredible. I mean, mm, it's summertime in my mouth. Well done, chef.